بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله some words of wisdom from علامة أحمد النجمي رحمة الله عليه رحمة واسعة regarding the Hizbiyin and reading the books of the people of Ahzab, the people of Hizbiya, the people who appear to have something from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and appear to call to Kitab wa Sunnah but in fact their da'wah is mixed with truth and falsehood and we have so many du'at out there who fit this description and may Allah protect us from being from amongst them Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen The Imam said Beware, beware of ending up with the Hizbiyin and then possessing their books and treading their narrow path and walking upon their crooked methodology. Take caution, my Muslim brother, from possessing their books because the truth in them is mixed with falsehood and the Sunnah in them is mixed with Bid'ah. So if your desire or if you desire a pure drinking source with no impurities, then you must seek the Quran and the books of the Sunnah and the books of the Athar. Tread the path of the people of the Athar who take their knowledge by reporting chains from the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een from their Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa la alayhi wa sallam. Ahabatifillah, we learn many things and probably the most important thing is to not be deceived by those who have the cloak of the sunnah. There are those people who entertain us a lot with their da'wah. They excite us. They make us laugh. They make us cry. But the substance of what they teach us does not conform to kitab sunnah. Then there are those who don't even attempt that, who are purely on a path of misguiding the people, saying that Tawheed is not in the Qur'an, or statements like Aqidah is not mentioned in the Qur'an. So therefore, that calls into question the menaj and the methodology of, of the people who call to Aqidah, which is a very strange thing. Because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu called to Iman, called to Aqidah, creed, even if it wasn't named Aqidah. And the books of the Imams are filled with those terms in Mustalahat that we don't find in the Quran Aslan, but these terms were brought about in order to make the religion more understandable. But the principles are there. So Aqidah and Tawheed is in the Quran, even if it's not called Aqidah and it's not called Tawheed. But who would deny ikhlas? Who would deny sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah calls us to worship, orders us to worship Him and Him alone? And that He created us for that purpose. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem, I sent to every nation, we sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid the ta'ud, avoid those things, worship besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's Tawheed, that's Tawheed al ibadah that's Tawheed al uluhiyah that's Tawheed of the servant worshiping Allah alone. And that's what the messengers that Ayyim Abdul Salatu Salam were upon. So Tawheed's in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fikitab al Kareem, wa ma khalaftu al jinn wa lanzil li abdun. I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. That's Tawheed. That's Tawheed. In fact, that ayah contains Rububiyya and Uluhiyya. Because Allah is the Creator, the only Creator. That's Rububiyya. And the purpose he created us for is to worship him. That's uluhiyya. That's worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. So habatil fillah beware, beware, iyyakum wa iyyakum. Men ahla dalal wa ahla tahazzab. And those people who call to themselves 
and call to their groups and call the people away from the book and the sunnah and the understanding of the salaf of this ummah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with the class with the bad. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.